well, Pam, in summary, gosh, um, there's a lot of information, uh, a lot of history that has gone into why we are where we are at the moment. If I've heard you correctly, uh, the whole upper lip tie, the buckle tie and the posterior tongue ties, they're not a thing. They're just not a thing. It's been a misunderstanding of normal anatomy. It's been a perhaps well-intentioned intervention with a simplistic thought that there is a problem, we must fix it. Uh, but it's, it's taking the wrong approach. The classic tongue tie where there's that thick immobile um, tethering of the tip of the tongue to the base of the, the floor of the mouth, still a role uh, in limited number of, of babies for, for a little snip there. Uh, but most of the troubles that we see with uh, that are ascribed to tongue tie in, in this modern era are, are really more to do with inadequate um, uh, poor, poor attachment, the fit and hold, um, uh, and, and just really getting the breastfeeding right. And if we get better at helping women to do that, exactly. there's a range of online resources, there's programs, there's telehealth options. If we get better at doing that, then this whole tongue tie thing will just go away because we'll have a better solution for women. So please, upskill, find the resources, be proactive in this space, direct women before that baby is born to where to find the solutions rather than to the expensive and potentially harmful approaches that are being used now. Pam, thank you so very much for your research, for your knowledge and for sharing with us today. Thank you.